Hello, my dear friends. Welcome back to Rejoice English. Today we are continuing on Rejoice Athletic Primer Lesson Six, Part Two. Let's review the passage. Please try to shadow as I read along. Nat's cap, a fat dog. Has the lad a dog? The lad has a fat dog. The dog has Nat's cap. Nat and Rab ran. Rab ran at a cat. Very well. Remember yesterday we talked about how we use present simple tense to talk about fact. I would like to spend a little time with you to talk about tenses. In English language, before you say anything, you will have to decide which tense you are going to use. It is almost like a subconscious decision. Before you open your mouth, you have already decided which tense you are going to use. This is especially difficult for us Chinese people because we simply do not have this concept in the Chinese language. 还记得我们昨天提到我们会用现在简单式来表达事实、真理或习惯吗？今天我想要跟大家花一点时间来谈一谈英文的时态。当你说英文的时候，在你开口之前，你就已经决定了你要用什么时态。它几乎是一个潜意识的决定。这对我们中国人来说其实是特别的困难，因为在中文这一个语言里面，其实是没有时态这样子的概念。Which means you simply do not have to think of when, what time, and how when you are speaking Chinese. However, you do have to think about that in English, and it is not just about time; it is also about how you say something. It is actually often about expression, which in effect will change the meaning of what you want to say. 也就是说，当你说中文的时候，你不需要去担心什么时候、如何来使用不同的时态。但是英文，你必须要考虑到时态，而且它不仅仅是关乎时间，它也跟表达的方法有关。所以说，不同的时态是会影响句子的意思。If it all sounds too complicated, don't worry about it, because the main point I want you to know today is, in Chinese language, there is no such thing as tenses. In English, there is, and therefore finding English tenses difficult for us Chinese people is absolutely normal, and it will take time and a lot of practice to get it. And the good news is, you are already on a great path. You are practicing English a little bit every day, and that is the most important thing. 如果你觉得听起来非常的复杂，一点关系都没有，因为今天我希望你能够知道的事情是，中文没有时态，英文有时态。所以，我们说中文的人在学英文的时态感到困难，是极度正常的事情。好消息是。你已经在一条很棒的道路上面，你每一天都会花一点的时间来练习英文，那才是最重要的事。Nat and Rab ran. Nat and Rab ran. Nat and Rab 跑。It uses ran instead of run, so we know it happened in the past because it is used in past tense. 它用 ran 而没有用 run。所以我们知道它发生在过去的某个时间点，它是用过去简单式。Also, rab ran at a cat is a past tense as well, so it also happened sometime in the past. It also used ran instead of run. So we can see here when we are changing tenses, we usually change the verb. 下一句 rab。跑向猫，我们也是用 ran， 没有用 run， 所以它也是过去式。在这边我们可以开始看到，当我们改变时态的时候，我们总是改变动词 run 变成 ran。I would also like to remind you how yesterday when we were talking about the lad has a fat dog, has the lad a dog, the dog has Nat's cap, we also change have. Into has because of the third person singular. It is also the verb being changed. Nat's cap, a fat dog. Has the lad a dog? The lad has a fat dog. The dog has Nat's cap. Nat and Rab ran. Rab ran at a cat.